sign in with SmartAmp, you would go to SmartAmp.com and then click on this Sign In with Google page. This is going to bring you to your accounts page on Google. I have several IDs here that I can choose from, and this is what you would see if you were on a shared device, like an iPad that's been checked out by a cart. You would pick your own, or you could add an account here. Um, in this case, I'm going to sign in as a teacher. So I'll just put in my password. And that's going to drop me on the class page. So then if I were a student, um, students get the same home page. They click sign in with Google as well. Same sort of account page. I'm going to add an account. And this is going to be an account that has never accessed SmartAmp before. So what you're going to see is that we're asking for access to the student's Google account. They would click accept. This only happens the first time you sign in and it'll happen for a teacher as well. Once you click accept, um, then SmartAmp has provided access to your Google account and from that point on you're, you would skip right to this class page where you can pick your class. Um, we also, if you have already signed in um, during the day, we don't ask you to sign in again. We remember that and you would just come right from the home page to this page.